Hello and welcome to the first video in the Wikimedia tutorial series on how to make a full-fledged web form in Adobe Dreamer CS3 and CS4. This video will be on how to create the form itself, the second video on how to validate the data, and the third video which will be divided into two separate videos because it will be too long. Uh, otherwise, um, will be on how to create the processing script. So let's get started. I apologize if I'm going too fast, but I have to fit this within 10 minutes because of YouTube. So this is what it will look like. I'm not going to go too much into visual stuff. Um, the third the thir in the last video, I'll also show how to input this form into a website of your choice. So right now I'll make a new HTML document like this and I'll go to the forms tab and click the form button. So we have this nice form outlined by the red dotted line. Now I'll go into the layout tab and click table. I'll make it six rows, two columns, no thickness no border thickness, uh, three cell padding, and zero cell spacing. Press OK. I'll make it a bit wider as well so we can work with it easier. Now I'll select this column, make it horizontally aligned to the right and vertically to the top. And this one horizontally to the left and to the top. Now I'll go into this column and insert and go under the forms tab and insert a text field. I'll make the ID, which is the code name for uh, well the name for the field used in code. Um, try not to use capitals because it gets confusing because it is all case sensitive in code. And instead of spaces, use underscores like that and try to stay away from symbols other than underscores but I'll make it name and I'll make the label full name for label you don't have to worry about formatting you can use whatever you want press ok now I'll drag this in here always try to make it uh, insert the field in here because it, otherwise the coding sort of screws up. So I'll make another field, call it email, email, make the label email, colon, okay, drag the field in here. Now I'm going to put a multi-line text box like this called a text area. So I'll click in the, this cell and click this button, text area. I'll make the ID question, make the label question. Okay, now drag this in here and click in this one in this cell and now I'm going to be putting in a drop down menu. So to do that I click the list menu button, make the ID question topic Oops. Sorry if I'm going uh, quite fast again. Um, so I'll drag this in here. Now there are two types, menu and list. List is where you scroll through the list and you can allow people to choose multiple selections. Menu is drop down. So that's what we want. We'll click list values. Make the first one choose. There's a label. Leave the value as um, and nothing. Now we'll click the plus sign to add another one. I'll make it the label general support. I'm making this just a uh, sort of simple contact form. Uh, general, uh, sorry, 
The value is what you will see when you get the email with all the data, so don't leave it blank except for this one, because uh, otherwise you won't know what they input. I'll make the next one a uh, web site design, make the value web design, and click plus, and I'll make it image design the value image design okay press ok now we have this but we want the initially selected value to be choose so we'll go down here and click that good now we'll put in a file field such as this one I'm going to be making the uh, it's used to uh, for, as an example uh, for it like an image for of like the problem that they're having if they have any. So I make the ID uh, image of pro oops. image of problem. Okay, label like this one. Just type it out. Press OK. Now drag this in here. Now what I'll do is I'll make all the character width 35 for all the fields just by selecting them and then going 35 in the character width do the same here just a nice visual aspect to align them all um, now what I'll do is insert a reset button and a submit button so I'll make the first the reset button reset don't put a label it goes in front of the button it doesn't look good I'll make it uh, the action reset form so it changes the title for us automatically uh, and I'll make a submit button so it again no label so automatically a submit form button so here's our form I'll just quickly preview it in the browser of my choice I would usually use Firefox, but I'm going to use Internet Explorer. I'm just going to save it as anything. Um, here we go. I'll type my name, RAC, email, something. We have not yet validated. I'll do that in the next tutorial. Question, something. You can choose a file, choose one of these as you wish and you can press submit which doesn't do anything yet and you can press reset which resets everything to the original state it's really a courtesy to the user with a really big form so I'll press X and that's all for this tutorial please check out the next tutorial um, when it comes out and leave comments uh, with questions if you have any uh, I'll try to answer them as soon as possible and uh, just subscribe really that's all I ask for uh, thanks, bye